Hi everyone, this is Samantha Lee right from the Essential Oil Revolution podcast and I wanted to share with you, um, in my opinion, one of the biggest common health concerns that people don't realize is a concern um, when they are looking at detoxing their home from toxic chemicals. And that number one concern for me is um, air fresheners. So those air fresheners, the sprays, the plug-ins, the things you hang in your car, all of those air freshener products are really nothing more than a huge amount of toxic chemicals you know, condensed into one space that are designed to get up into your air, into your nose, and smell really good and mask the bad smells. In my opinion, they don't, they don't even smell good because to me, I'm so sensitive to synthetic chemicals that um, they really tickle my nose. But a lot of people find that they smell really good. So here's just a few things to consider when you are looking at um, air fresheners and why you might want to reconsider using something more natural, such as a diffuser and essential oils, which smell 10,000 times better, in my opinion, and are so good for your health. So check this out. Americans spend roughly 88% of their time indoors. That's a lot of time we spend inside and the air that we breathe in, it gets stale. Um, it gets, you know, not so good for us and it starts to get stinky. So it's no wonder that people want to use air fresheners. Air gives us life. We are constantly breathing in air. So if we're spending 88% of our time indoors, we want to make sure that our air is as healthy as it can possibly be for our entire bodies, for our lungs, which affects the rest of our bodies. Now, air fresheners are used in an average of 75% of U.S. households. It's a $1.8 billion industry, the air freshener industry. It's huge. Um, now, if you look at the ingredients of a common air freshener, one quarter of those ingredients are usually classified as toxic or hazardous. Some of these ingredients um, include volatile organic compounds or VOCs such as acetone, ethanol, pinene, and acetate. According to the EPA, toxic VOCs can produce a range of health effects including eye, nose, throat irritation, nausea, headaches, damage to liver, kidney, and the central nervous system, depending on your exposure and what your sensitivity is. Um, another really common ingredient in a lot of these air fresheners is formaldehyde. So researchers have found that um, electric air fresheners especially release an average of 17% of the critical exposure limit for formaldehyde emissions. And that's just on one use. So formaldehyde is a known carcinogen. I'm sure it's maybe fine in moderation, or maybe a little bit of formaldehyde won't kill you. Um, it's great if you have good ventilation in your home, but to me, I always come back to, is it worth it? I mean, is it really worth using an air freshener that is laden with possible formaldehyde and VOCs and other things that we're gonna talk about? Um, or it's, I mean, it's so much easier to just use a freaking diffuser. So here's my diffuser back here and some of my favorite oils that I diffuse throughout the day. And my house smells amazing. Everyone that comes to my house says that it smells amazing. And I'm using something that's 100% natural. You know, there are no toxic chemicals whatsoever in these essential oils. And um, they're so good for your health. So again, air fresheners typically contain VOCs formaldehyde or um, something called um, flight flight lights. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, in a 2007 study of 14 home air fresheners, the NRDC found that 12 of them contain flight lights, including all natural and unscented varieties. And these chemicals, um, which are used to dissolve and carry fragrance, are linked to changes in hormone levels, poor semen quality, birth defects, reproductive harm, um, and furthermore, a type of flight late called DI flight late, which is found in scented products like air fresheners, is reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen. So that's according to the National Institute of Health. So if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant 
or if you have children running around, you know, you don't want to take that risk that you're getting these chemicals into their body. Um, so again, to me, it just makes total sense to switch to something non-toxic like a diffuser um, and simple essential oils. You know, lemon, uh, peppermint are great oils to diffuse. Everyone loves the smell of those. Um, citrus blends. Um, those are just some of like the really more neutral uh, scents that everybody loves. So anyway, I hope that you've taken this message to heart and you um, you know, get rid of those toxic chemicals in your home um, and you know, and educate your friends too. A lot of people don't know that they're breathing these toxins into their body um, and it could be causing really, really harm to their whole systems. So thanks for watching. Again, I'm Samantha Lee Wright, and you can check out my podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. It's called The Essential Oil Revolution. Uh, we talk about essential oils all day, every week. Hope to see you there. Bye.